In this video, we're going to teach you how to release and reload from tabletop to dinner plate and dinner plate back to tabletop. At tabletop position, your symbols are two inches apart. You'll see that it's just two blades of metal right in front of the symbol player. We don't want to see the tops or the bottoms of the symbol like that. Okay, so this is what makes a tabletop position. From here, let's go ahead and define what makes a dinner plate position, which is ultimately the complete reverse of this, and then we'll go back and talk about how we get there. So now the knots are going to be facing up. The symbols are still flat, we still only want to see two blades of metal, but the symbols are against the body. Because they're unloaded and a little bit less stable, you do want to use your body to stop the symbols from moving. So this is basically what dinner plate is, hands are unloaded underneath, and now we're going to go ahead and talk about how we got here. To get from tabletop to dinner plate, we're going to rotate the symbol out away from us. So first we're going to show you how to manually do this. So if you grab the edge of the symbol, you want the symbol to unload in the most natural way possible, which is through the thumb and finger, so that the symbol just falls off the hand, it wraps around your wrist, and then into your body. So that's what the rotation is gonna look like. Now let's go ahead and do this in context. What you're gonna be thinking about is pushing with the pinky, pulling with the thumb out away from you. The symbol is gonna rotate around, and what that's gonna do is cause you to draw this tight circle with your wrist. You wanna keep the motion direct and concise. When you do that, that should put you right to dinner plate where you're trying to land. The, your hand is spread out underneath the symbol. The symbol is against your body when you land. For the reload, we're gonna do the complete opposite of this. So we're gonna be rotating inward. We're still gonna draw that tight circle with our wrist, and we're gonna let the symbols fall back onto our hands. So when you see these symbols rotate around, one thing you need to think about is you actually wanna catch the, think about catching the symbol kind of on this upwards 45. So Bradley's gonna show you this catch. If you think about catching here, then you will ultimately land flat back at tabletop. If you think about stopping at tabletop, then you're going to over rotate and go past where you're trying to go. So make sure you're really thinking about that control, nice tight circle with your wrist, and then landing right back at tabletop. 